Hello, this video is created by Onaga. An information developer at BMC Software and narrated by a computer-generated voice. When you enable progressive views on a form, you can configure a progress bar widget. Progress bar widget is a graphical element that shows milestones of a process. This helps in visualizing the progress of an event or process on a form. In Developer Studio, a progress bar widget is built on the table. You must have a minimum of six rows selected from the table. Each row becomes a node on the progress bar. You must define the mapping for each node on the progress bar. You must not duplicate the mapping. You can use the AR system progress bar widget mapping form to define the color of the progress bar. Let us see how to configure a progress bar widget in Remedy Developer Studio. On component E to E form, we have three tables. These three tables will be rendered as three progress bars. Now, in table display properties, set the display type as progress bar view. Select the tree table property and add a form name from where you want to fetch data. Now, add table columns. You must add a minimum of six columns. Title, SLT status, start time, stop time, due date, and instance ID. These are the six columns we have added here. Once you add the columns, Open display properties of the individual column, and on the progress bar field, define the column name. Here, the column name is the title. The second column is status. Similar goes for start time stop time, due date, and instance ID. You define the mapping for each column, and you should not provide the duplicate mapping. This is how you configure a progress bar widget in the developer studio. Now we will see how to define the color of the progress bar. When the form is rendered in the mid-tier, the Mapping Identifier field helps derive the color of the progress bar. You can use the AR System Progress Bar Widget Mapping form to define the color of the progress bar. Provide a Mapping Identifier on the AR System Progress Bar Widget Mapping form. The Mapping Identifier on this form must match with the Mapping Identifier value you have given in Developer Studio properties. Here, our Mapping Identifier is SLM Measurement which is matching with the value defined in the Developer Studio. Color mapping is defined based on the status mapping field. For example, if the status value is 5, which you define as a missed target, then the progress bar color is displayed as a danger that is red. Use the precedence field to set the precedence of table rows. Select the display type for the node icon. It can be cross, right, or none. This is how you define a color for the progress bar. Now we have configured the progress bar, let's see how it looks in mid-tier. After you configure a progress bar for a form, open the form in mid-tier. Here, we see three progress bars. On the first progress bar, there are four nodes and the other two have three nodes. For the first progress bar, since the status is target missed, the bar is shown in red color. The second node of the second progress bar shows two targets. This is how you can track the progress of an event by using the progress bar. You can find more information about configuring and using the progress bar widget at docs.bmc.com. Thanks for watching.